First, I'd just like to uh, you know, congratulate West Virginia. This is uh, kind of a bucket list for me. I've been able to coach at some great places and play at some great places. Uh, so to be able to coach against uh, Coach Huggins and Hall of Fame coach and to play in a place like this, uh, storied program, uh, was a lot of fun for me. A little disappointed in our team. I thought first half we you know, played OK. Uh, Rebounding-wise, we were good. Second half, we just uh, you know, got outworked. I think on the first play, they got six offensive rebounds. So a little disappointed in that. But West Virginia turned, to, turned it up on us, and we didn't have an answer. Fast break points, we didn't get back. Didn't shoot the ball well from three, obviously. Uh, just kind of worn down. And uh, I guess that's our season in a nutshell. You know, we had chances to be really good this year, and we just couldn't get over the hump. Um, but it was a great opportunity for our guys, uh, like I said, to play in a, uh, an atmosphere like this. Um, so I was happy for them. I just wish they would have played a little better. Uh, but congratulations to West Virginia. Uh, they got a good young team, some really good young players. Um, you know, Jermaine played really well. I saw him at New Mexico State when he was there. Uh, so he continues to kill me, but that's fine. So it was fun. We uh, were disappointed in our year, um, but we, uh, we made a lot of strides again. This is our second year in Division I. Uh, we've made it to the WAC Championship twice, and we'll continue to get better. Um, and playing teams like this and in atmospheres like this and arenas like this is only going to help us. But, you know, we played those three games in the WAC, and I've really only played, this is the first uh, time tonight I've played nine guys. I was really only playing about six guys in the tournament. And I thought we lost our legs against New Mexico State on the third night of three games. But our travel was great. Our president stepped up and got us a charter. So it can't be, we can't blame anything on the travel. It was, uh, it was really nice. The charter was great. We got here, and everybody here has been, we've been terrific. So, um, it wasn't the travel. It was more West Virginia and how they pushed the pace and uh, beat us on the boards. And like I said, our guys just uh, didn't find a way in the second half to get it done. Yeah, they, they came out a lot. You know, a lot like New Mexico State game, the first five, six minutes, they played really well. So, uh, you know, they played well. Whatever, like I said, mental toughness or whatever, we just, it's been a long year for us, but it's a long year for everybody. And for whatever reason, we just couldn't sustain it. And, you know, what Western. Uh, uh, West Virginia does is they uh, they crash the boards. That's one of the things they do, and offensively, and they keep coming at you. And I think one of the big things we just didn't get back in transition. We didn't get matched up, and it didn't help that we were, you know, nine for twenty nine from three. That the long shots got out to they got them out to transition points. That's sort of been the story of the season too. With the threes, it's been either either it's there, it's not game to game. It is, and we had a lot of great looks, and uh, I thought we even turned down a few good ones to get some bad shots or a turnover. Um, so I was disappointed in that. Uh, but like I said, there's a lot of good things that happened this year um, for us, and uh, we'll take this experience and move on and get better next year. So uh, uh, we'll miss our seniors, um, but we got a lot of good things in store for us. It's worthwhile. Is that why you're trying to get Tim more time and Roberts back in there? Well, I got to play them. Our guys were tired, and I, you know, I'm going to say I was going to play them all tonight. You know, Tim and Rob and Matt hadn't played a lot. Rob hasn't played at all, so Tim and Matt were playing uh, selective minutes. So those other guys were tired. So I said I'm going to play them all. I thought Tim played well in the first half and. Uh, Rob did a pretty good job. Matt uh, shot the ball well. Uh, you know, I wish he had shot a little more. He was uh, three for four and turned down a few shots. Uh, but he's always been unselfish. That's what he's been. So, uh, yeah, I just I told everybody they're going to play tonight. Just go out there and, and try to play the best you can. This time of year, everybody wants to be and say, but is this experience good? Just any postseason experience for your program? Yeah, you know, we to be honest, we were very disappointed because we've been able to play in the, the CIT and the CBI uh, because the first four years we we were transitioning. That's the only thing we could play in. And our guys, our sole goal has been to get the NCAA tournament, and we have been uh, to the championship game twice in two years, so two years that we've been eligible. So uh, it's a big letdown when we get so close and we're not able to do it. You know, everybody at our school wants to go so bad, and so do our guys. So to be honest, it was a huge letdown, but the CBI did a fantastic job. Um, once I heard we were playing uh, West Virginia, I was very excited, very excited. As I said, Coach Huggins, Hall of Fame coach, the storied program, great conference, uh, this arena. I couldn't wait to get here and see it, and uh, I'm glad we did it. Like I said, we've played in Louisville, Kentucky, Duke, Indiana. We've been all over the place, so this is just another place we can check off, and uh, it's good for our guys. It's good for our guys to see uh, you know, what kind of programs these are and where we want to go.